Hey everybody, it's Sarah, aka The Mill Coach, and it's time for Epic Shit Challenge Day 20. That's right, we're only one day away from your 21 days of new habits, new outlooks, new actions of moving forward to make your epic shit really get out there. All right, so congratulations for that. Um, I also know that it's Saturday and you probably have a lot going on. You're going to go out and enjoy this beautiful day. So we're going to keep things uber simple for this second to last challenge. And it's going to be all around a four letter word today. Right? It's not one of those, you know, not so great four letter words or not so positive, like, you know, chit. It's words I like to use. No, it's, it's more of the word of love. Right? L-O-V-E. How can you really just embody and be love? Because right? we just need more of it in the world. So your challenge is to think back to a time in your life where you felt just insanely, intensely loved. What was the situation? Who were the people? Where exactly were you? What were the, the really important pieces? You know, what were the smells that were around? What was the, the wind doing? I mean, what, what just really try to go back to that exact spot. What was happening? And really just feel that love and give gratitude for that love, right? And then you're gonna take that at your core, all that love, and you're gonna do something to show more love than you did yesterday and then you're going to be more open to receiving love in your life because right? sometimes we you know put up barriers and you know we don't we're just not as open to all that wonderful you know love vibration coming our way so we all need more love maybe just a little bit maybe you know i know i want lots and lots of love so let's just be what we want to see and and make that happen you know, when I think of one of my favorite love stories, um, I think of the people around me. And uh, one of the first thoughts that comes up is a family that uh, really took me under their wing when I was a little girl. Because I was horse crazy. I'd had a horse for a while, and then my dad sold it. And I then was horseless. And they just in, in, included me in every single thing that they did with their horses. Um, and they just gave me their time. They gave me their energy. They gave me an extra spot in their horse trailer so that I could haul the rodeos and posse meets and horse shows across the, the state. And it was just amazing to know that there was this other family out there that didn't care what my background was, you know, if I had money, if I didn't. They just said, you know what, Sarah, come and just be with us. And so big shout out, big loves to the Delbridge family, uh, you know, Wolf, Darlene, Roxy and Leslie. Um, I don't think that I would be right here being, you know, mill coach um, if they hadn't influenced me the way that they did. And so the time that I'm thinking of is when we were at uh, horse camp and we were all just together. We were riding every day, having a blast at night. We were enjoying campfires and it was just an amazing time because I just knew that they had my back and support. So today, think back to a time where you felt intensely loved and then find a way to just be more love. All right, that's it. Epic shit takes a lot of love, baby. Make it happen. We'll see you tomorrow for the last challenge.